here we are again, Roosevelt Field Mall. And yet another Apple release. So we gotta go in here and check out this Apple iPhone 15 and the new colors and the, you know, the Apple Watch Ultra 2. And uh, frankly, that's like it. It's like I'm not extraordinarily excited, but uh, that's pretty much all anybody's really showing up here for. So I'm just gonna walk in there. I'm not buying nothing. I'm skipping this year. When they make the two terabyte model, that's when I'll upgrade this phone. So far, this 14 Pro Max has been excellent. But the only reason why I see anybody really wanting to get a 15 is because of the gaming abilities, because they're saying this thing could play games really, really well. Like they're saying it has the power of like a PlayStation 3 or something like that. I don't know. So I can already guess they have probably a big line up there. So we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. See how many of these people are here. Yeah, I, I kind of just went, and then the, the color, the new colors aren't even really exciting. It's like barely blue. It's like fucking titanium white. That shit is boring. <laughs> I think really Apple has peaked at this point. I don't really know what they could do to revolutionize the phone anymore. Because, see, the problem is they went from having no phone to having the best phone on the market. That is a problem because now how do you improve that? It's, it's never good to be the best. If you're the best, there's no way to grow. And some people are like, oh, yeah, well, it only has a USB 2.0 data port. I don't give a fuck. Do you know the last time I had to plug my phone in? I can't tell you. Like, I always do everything using Wi-Fi. So, let's see what happens. But, uh, yeah, there should be, I think there's like a big line. By now, there's like a big line out there. There should be, at least. Let's just see. Picture color and quality on these cameras is excellent. This, they really can't make this any better. I mean, yeah, they can make the uh, zoom lens a little bit better. But um, it's really hard to make these things any better than they already are. You know, so increment. In fact, wait, from the looks of it, I don't even see a line. There's always a line though, so I'm sure there's a line, but it doesn't look like it's a big line. Chances are it'll be bigger tomorrow. <sighs> well, yeah, okay, so yeah, they got like maybe a couple of people waiting outside. I'm not waiting, I'm just walking right in. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's the line. <laughs> Of course there's a line, there's always a line. Never fails, there's always a line. When was the last time you see somebody line up for Samsung? Fucking folding phones, somebody want that shit. All right, let me just uh, put this down and then show the ID or whatever, I gotta go in there. Okay, so this is the 15. Go right over here, so we got the 15 right here. That's like a plain white. I think this is barely blue. I could I could see it right away. This is the barely blue color. It does definitely feel lighter. Like that, this phone is the same size as mine. It definitely does feel lighter. Titanium is a lighter metal than stainless steel. But yeah, it, it feels lighter immediately. Well, it feels very very light compared to my phone. This is a Pro Max. Yeah, this is the this is kind of like the same color as my Deep Purple, except it's kind of like it looks kind of like blue but um it's definitely lighter and then, and then they got the action button that says hold to open so when you push the action button it looks like somebody programmed it to be a camera button all right now my question was is it possible to make the action button a off switch and I, that was something that I really did want to know, like, oh, okay, settings, so action button has its own new display. Okay, so it says you can make it the silent mode, flashlight, voice memo, shortcut, accessibility. If you push and hold it, supposedly it's, it, it normally would have put the phone into silent, but somebody programmed it to be a camera button right now. So if you put it in silent, 
now it's in silent, right? So if I, if I put it in silent and you push and hold it, now you go to silent, push and hold it again, it goes to ring. I don't really see the huge difference between that and the actual uh, uh, switch, but it also looks like the sleep wake button is a little bit small. It almost feels like it's smaller, probably not. But yeah, so I mean, it's it's definitely physically it's lighter. And as far as the camera, I mean, as far as the camera goes, okay, it says it's got like five zoom, okay. So it's like five optical zoom if you go straight to the top zoom. 2x, 5x, yeah. Okay, well, I, I do say, yeah, the uh, video quality is pretty damn good. Video, video quality is pretty nice. I like that. The zoom quality is pretty nice for five. Let's see, that's two, and five. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. I'm sorry I'm holding it on the side. I have, I'm, it's in my left hand, so because it's in my left hand, I'm holding it really awkward. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's not bad, right? 2x, it's not bad. Let's see, I don't know if I can read anything on the wall. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna make the part of the video that I make every year, how to turn it off. Cause I, I like doing that because I get a lot of views on those videos. Okay, so this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So if you wanna turn the phone off, all you have to do is you have to hit the top button, the bottom button, and then you hold the side button. So you hit one, two, three, and then you hold, then it will give you the option to power it off. But if you continue holding, the phone will reboot. Now, during the reboot mode, if you keep holding it and you plug in the iPhone wire, that's when you'll get it in to go into iTunes mode. And that's like if you have to restore the phone, like if you have to do a hard restore, and it's good to know that because like one time I had to do that with a phone, I had to restore my father's, he had a, a, 12, a 10S Max that I gave him. So yeah, it's always good to know how to do that. And by the way, the big feature this year is USB-C. And it doesn't look like the phones have suffered from having USB-C. It looks like phones are physically about the same size. The only difference is the weight. They're a lot lighter now. Yeah, so this is the barely blue model. This is like the regular, the regular little camera, barely blue. And that's the USB-C port. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's really not much to, what the fuck is that noise? Okay, yeah. So all of these people are waiting for iPhones. So I just want y'all to remember, when somebody starts talking that shit about Samsung and iPhones not innovating all that, just remember, I want you to show me a picture where Samsung has lines and shit in their store this size, because they don't. So anyway, back to the phone. So anyway, this is the Barely Blue model. And uh, this one has a switch. So this is a 15 plus. So these still have the, the physical switch, even though they have the dynamic island. These have the physical switch on the side instead of the action button. So those are the iPhone 15 plus. Now, some people keep saying like, why do you need an iPhone 15 plus? Like there's no point in having them. And uh, this one's a regular iPhone 15. So me personally, I mean, what I do like right away is that these things definitely feel so much lighter. I like that. Um, the switch that's on it, I mean, you know, the action button, it does what it does. It's a nice new feature, but I can wait for the 16 or 17 because at this point, my bottom line is I have to have more storage. That's my bottom line. So then the other thing I wanted to see was the Apple Watch too. So let's take a look at that. Where's the... Yeah. So I'm guessing this is a uh, Apple Watch 2, and the way you know it's an Apple Watch 2 is because the sides of the screen have those, uh, it has those dials on the side of the screen that are action dials. Now, I'm thinking about getting an Apple Watch 2, but see, my problem is, and you probably didn't notice, I don't have, uh, what was it, my Apple Watch 6 anymore, because what happened was when I was in Maldives, the goddamn band opened up and the phone went to the bottom of the ocean. So ever since then, I've been wearing my regular pilot watches and these have a, a, a metal clasp bracelet. Now it's possible to buy a metal clasp bracelet for an Apple Watch. I've seen them online for about $30, $20. So 
if I were to buy an Apple Watch 2, I would definitely want a bracelet like that because um, I don't have to worry about if I do any like extreme swimming or deep sea diving or anything, I don't have to worry about losing the damn watch. But you know, it was an Apple Watch 6, so it was really worth like less than $100 last year. So it's not a big deal. I can always get another one. But um, I would definitely get an Apple Watch 2 Ultra instead of the Ultra 1, simply because the Ultra 2 is just newer and it pretty much costs the same thing that the Ultra 1 costs. So fairly, that's nice. I don't really like these straps though. It's nice, but I, I really am not crazy about those straps. Like the straps feel cheap to me. Oh, oh, okay, I think you can't take those off. Well, maybe you can, I don't know. Nope, oh, maybe you can. No, I don't think you can take those off. So. Sorry? Well, I had an Apple Watch uh, 6, but right now it's in the bottom of the ocean in Maldives because the goddamn the clasp just opened up and the thing fell on the bottom, so I've been wearing these. I got to get I, I got to get a bracelet like that if I was going to get one of those uh, twos. Yeah. That was, that was the first time. Well, no, that's the second time I lost an a, a Apple Watch. The first one got damaged. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or when I go on vacation. Slip. And now th these things are built for swimming, so, you know. Yeah, man, I, I got, I'm being that, you gotta get that other thing. I wanna, no, well, online, I, I wanna get one of these bracelets, because these I never have a problem with, because, like, they have to open clasp. So, you know. I don't, I don't like these uh, bracelets. They, they uh, I mean, the, the one that has the hook is nice, like this one and that one, those are okay. But I actually prefer, prefer, you know. I don't like this one. Yeah, well, you gotta, they're, they're making a lot of this shit out of retire, re, like recycled material. Like they're digging, they're getting bottles out of the ocean and they're making yeah, recycled. Right. It's like, yeah, I'm not too crazy about that feeling, you know. I'd rather just have metal. Oh, you get one? Where, where are they serving you? Or what? I, 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 I ordered it. Oh, you ordered? It? Oh, okay. I'm waiting for the cup. I'm online, but you want me to come tomorrow? I don't get it. They today. want you to come tomorrow. They don't have it. Well, they have it, but I ordered online. Oh. Well, I tell you, the line's bigger than I expected it to be because the way. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because they they were talking on the news. They were like, "Oh, is anybody really going to come? It's not innovative and all that bullshit." Sure enough, they well, got. Well, they, they're not coming for the watch. Though. Yeah, they're coming for the but either one. They're coming for the phone. Either one, yeah. The phone, everybody coming. Yeah. Yeah. I just came because I wanted to like. I'm here. Eighty percent of people want the phone. Oh no! Everybody's here for the phone. Everybody's here. For the phone. I'm skipping this year because I have the one terabyte, and I'm waiting for the two terabyte. But they didn't make that this year, so I skipped this. Year. Eleven? Oh, so you're going to fifteen? Not. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm upgrading the watch. You just upgrading the watch. Oh right, yeah, I hear that. See, next year I'll upgrade the phone. Okay. All right. I hear that. Yeah, I had to make up my little video well, for YouTube. I'm ready to get, go out because the battery's getting weak. Yeah. I got 84%. 84%? Once it goes to 80%, it's time to get rid of it. Okay. So my next year to be 80%. And that's an 11? Wow. Okay, so that's not you too to, bad. You know how to check your battery, right? I know how to check the battery health. That's not too bad. So you only lost like less than 7% health per year. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I usually don't. I usually keep maybe a two years tops, and then it's time to get a new one. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad at all. I would trade mine, but I'm getting the phones. Okay. All right. Well, have fun on the line. I'm just gonna take a look around. I always need my phone in the car, so I, I, have, I like to have the watch. I need my phone in the car. Oh, so you're getting the LTE model with the with the watch with the phone built in. Ultra two. Oh, okay. Does that have the Phone built in. Phone built in. Every one got phone. Every built single in. one has cellular, right? Okay. Yeah. I think I'll get it, but I'm gonna. Um, I think about it, uh, but I, I, I got to get a bracelet like this because the last one I just well, I just well, lost. You gotta buy them after Yeah. Uh, Facebook and Instagram. They usually have the. Uh, you gotta uh, I want this exact same bracelet. But they close like this. You got another kind of going front. Huh? It closes like this, you got another one going like this. Right? Yeah, it's like when it opens up, it opens up from the side, like that. And you can't lose that. You can't lose. 
when I I was in Maldives and and we were swimming and I jumped like I dove into the water. All of a sudden, like I'm thinking, I'm looking at my arm. I'm like, wait a minute, my arm feels light. I'm looking at my arm. Fucking watch is gone. <laughs> this goddamn shit. So I just started wearing my regular watches until uh, I buy another one of those. Yeah, yeah but I, I'll probably end up getting an ultra too. All right, yeah. Well, have fun waiting online. Nice seeing you. I know, but have fun waiting. I don't know where they are. Wait, wait, did they give you an appointment? No, I mean, I, I, I paid for the watch. You got to bring it up. You have to bring it. Oh, okay. Well, have fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man, this place is crowded. This is totally unlike a Samsung store. It's like those Samsung stores. There's like nobody in those. I, I thought they had folding phones. I thought they had phones that fold. What happened? I thought they had uh, folded phones or something. It's like this is this is totally unlike the Samsung store. I think these are what is this black? This is a 15 plus. Yeah. So basically. In order to really get the newest, 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 best thing, you have to get a Pro Max, basically. Because that has everything. That's got the action button, USB-C, the new camera, zoom. So you, you, you can't, you can't, you're not getting it new. Like, you're not really doing nothing unless you're getting the Pro Max. You got to get the Pro Max. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Zoom right up in the face. 5X. So that, that guy right there, wait, wait, let's find somebody else. Hold on, hold on. Let's go to one. We go to one X. Let's find somebody. Let's see. What's that guy's shirt say? I don't know what his shirt say. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, boom. What does it say? I can't read it. I still can't read that shit. Okay, so uh, you get the picture. <laughs> so, so that's it. <coughs> I think these are, oh, 15. This is like pink. What is this? Oh, this pink. So this is the pink one. So the Pro Max, you can't get with the colors. So this is pink. I don't know what they call it, but I call it pink. Because they, they always got to come up with something, some name or something. This is pink. You know? This is gray, silver, whatever. I, I think there's one, I think they call it like titanium white or something. Uh, the titanium white one. I don't know. I know that's barely blue. I can see that from the edge. I don't see the... T well, maybe I've already seen it. Or maybe that's it right there. I think this is titanium white. Kind of looks yellowish. Yeah. Maybe it's. Uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. All right, so basically, that's all I really came here for. I just came here to look around. So that's basically it. That's the Apple store for the Apple iPhone 15 release day. And uh, that's basically it. Did you get an iPhone? Which did you get? Did you get an Apple Watch? What did you get? That Vision Pro headset. I, I don't expect there's going to be any lines for that shit. So. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Yeah, these Samsung stores. The Samsung stores certainly don't look like this. I have never seen a Samsung store look like this, huh? Where are those Android phones at? All right. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, so that's basically it. That's all there really was to look forward to. That's the iPhone. And now we're on our way out. We're on our way out. Huh? They got the Omega store. Yeah, I feel sorry for these vendors. Like, it's really hard to sell anything anymore. It's like right now, economy sucks because of Bidenomics. Bidenomics sucks. Yeah, it, it's getting so bad now that it, it looks like Trump's gonna be the next president. I mean, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's like y'all hitched your wagons to Kamala Harris and she didn't deliver anything at all. You got Biden handing over all our money to Ukraine. You got uh, Trump waiting in the wings. Mike Pence. I don't even know why Mike Pence is up there. Mike Pence doesn't have a goddamn chance of winning nothing. Mike Pence ain't winning nothing. He, Mike Pence, 
he couldn't, I don't think he could get a vote from anybody. My punch on win nada. But that's it. He ain't got nobody else. Got the Swarovski, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, nothing changes. I swear to God, for the last four years, it feels like like nothing has changed. Well, and when I say nothing's changed, it's like it's like we've made like no progress at all in like four years. Louis Vuitton. I feel like we've made like no progress, giving all our goddamn money away to Ukraine. It's like I can't wait for Trump to be president again. I can't wait. I swear to God, it feels like there's no progress at all. Y'all complaining about iPhone not innovating. I, it feels like the country's not innovating. It's like, what's going on? These stores suck. Getting your shit from China, the store's all shuttered in China. It's like boring, everything's boring. Hey, is this free samples? What's this? I don't know what that is, so I'm not gonna drink it. <laughs> I don't know what this shit is. You taste some of that, next thing you know, you got like diarrhea. All right, well, I'm on my way out, I'm done. I've had my fun, had my fun for sure. I'm done. Still waiting for my damn car, my Cadillac. I've been waiting way too long. It's like, why is it taking so long to get my goddamn Cadillac? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like, you can't, it's like nothing's moving. Look at this. Your questions are answered. Yeah, I called my psychic. This guy. Oh boy. Okay, I guess these are taxis. I don't need him. I already have a car. Yes. Everything's so boring. A BMW iX. That's a nice color combination, white and blue. I like that. That's kind of cool. The car of the car. The, the whole car industry sucks now. Yeah, people. Oh, but I didn't want an electric car. You took away the gas engines. You took away all the gas engines. I didn't want an electric car. Oh shit, yeah, I gotta get gas, yeah. <laughs> Remote start canceled, fuel low. Let me go get some gas. Let me let me find out what the Biden economy has waiting for me. God damn, that thing is loud. It's, it sounds terrible. What is that? All right, let me go get some gas. Uh oh, look at this guy. We got this uh, bright uh, blue Yoris right here. Look at this guy. Bright bluish yours. It's a nice color. Looks a hell of a lot better than that stupid ass Corvette C8. So as you can see, despite all of the naysayers out there who, you know, say Apple's not innovative and, and they say that uh, iPhone's boring and this, that, and other, as you can see, despite the naysayers, that doesn't stop Apple stores in general from being crowded. There was a line right out the door all day long, just as you saw. Now, I walked up randomly, what, about between 3 and 4 o'clock, line going outside the door. So the reality is, no matter what people say, Apple knows what it's doing. And that's the reason why they're a $3 trillion company. And that's the reason why the rest of those companies that are talking smack aren't $3 trillion companies. It's just that simple. So it's the law of supply and demand it's it's survival of the fittest. It's the very basics of Darwinism. Apple's killing it. And that's the reason why, once again, when you're uh, padding your stock portfolio and you're looking for dividend stocks, Apple, just as Warren Buffett bets on it, Apple's pretty much should be at the top of your list. Microsoft, too. Microsoft, Apple, Google, NVIDIA, Tesla, Amazon, um, AMD, Micron, so forth and so on. The ones that I've always thrown out there. But uh, the yeah, the iPhone 15, I was actually surprised. I thought that more of the iPhone 15 models would have had the uh, uh, action button on it. But apparently it looked like only the Pro models have it. And the rest of them get that little click switch. So, um, 
you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something I missed, but that's what it looked like to me when I went into the store. So, uh, yeah, it's Apple Watch 2 and iPhone 15, and, and that's basically it. Now, once again, as far as I'm concerned, I already pretty much knew what to expect. Apple uses the exact same frame twice in a row. So I guess starting from the 10s Max, they built the 11 where all they did was they changed the camera setup. So now that they had those uh, the three cameras um, or the three camera optics, and then they kept that design. They moved to the 12 and the 13, and then they moved to the 14, which had Dynamic Island, which is basically the um, way that they kind of hide the um, FaceTime camera in the screen. But I knew that they were going to use the exact same physical body, and that's the reason why I, I was pretty much determined. I was like, yeah, I'll just skip um, the iPhone 15 and I'll wait for the 16 or the 17. What I'm really waiting for is two terabytes of storage. I understand that the new iPhone is more powerful and faster and you can play more advanced video games on it. But the reality is that's not why I have these phones. I don't really play games on these phones and any games that I would play are so not sophisticated until it wouldn't make sense for me to uh, upgrade this phone. But uh, yeah, that I mean, that's what it is. They want a lot of fucking money for these things. Um, people kept on insinuating and, and putting conjecture for it where they were saying that the iPhone 15 was going to be significantly more expensive. And it turned out that wasn't true. And I figured it wouldn't be true. Apple has done a pretty good job of keeping the cost down because chances are they're marking these phones up so much in the first place that what you see as getting the phone for the same price as last year, I see as them just reducing the amount of profit that they're making on the phone. But, um... The Pro Max version is, what is it? Um, it came in four colors, natural titanium, white titanium, blue titanium, and then black titanium. And uh, though I was amazed at how much lighter the phones felt. The phones definitely felt considerably lighter than what I'm holding right now in the 14 Pro Max with the stainless steel. Um, they only go up to one terabyte, $1,599, which comes out to about $1,740 with tax. That's what I paid for mine last year. I'm going to wait until the two terabyte, which means that they're going to move these things down a slot. So the one terabyte will be reduced in price probably to uh, $1,399. And then you'll have the two terabyte taken at the $1,599. It is kind of crazy when you really think that you're paying like $1,600 for a cell phone before tax. That's really, really crazy when you think about it. And then doing that on a, a, a annual basis, it, it just doesn't make sense. No matter what they come out with next year, I'm going to wait until they offer two terabytes. I'm not going to upgrade unless I'm upgrading the storage. So that's pretty much it. I can't think of them selling me anything that I don't already have. And I can't think of them making a feature that I really, really need. Because as long as it does everything that it pretty much does right now, I can't think of them adding in anything that could make me really, really want to upgrade short of giving me more storage space. And some people ask, oh, well, why do you need that storage space? It's because I like to make video vlogs and I like to finalize them on the phone with, you know, not having to go through an Apple computer or having to upload stuff to the computer. And one last thing, like people kept criticizing the fact that the USB 3 point or the, I should say the USB-C standard that they're using is uh, old. And the reality is I haven't plugged this phone in in a very long time. The only thing I plug this phone in for is to actually charge it. I don't use it to download data because that would take way too long into my computer. Not just because of the standard, but because, you know, it's just faster to use Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi on a 5G router just works faster. So me personally, it's like the criticisms have come and gone It'll take Apple to release their sales figures and talk about just how many sales they actually made. Meanwhile, Samsung's making them ugly, stupid folding phones that are boring. I don't know why you got to fold a phone like a makeup case. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But then again, it's just not for me. So if that's what you want, go get it. It's boring. I don't want it. I'm not getting it. So I'm happy with what I got right up until they make a larger storage and then I'll upgrade.